Hey, look at that. All right, so first we're going to start with our visual drill. Remember the purpose of our visual drill? Very good. All right, ready? What's that letter? You? What letter is that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you said the right sound, but not the right letter. Good job, not saying the bug. That was awesome. Ooh, what does it say? There you go. Awesome. Very nice. I'm going to do that so quick, too. All right, next we're going to bring out our Black Beauty or soundboard. Change the name, I forgot. So why do we do this? What does it help with? Not reading. What was our other one? Go to hand. Spelling. All right, let's start with some blends. Our first one is curve. Awesome. And thank you for saying it first before you wrote it. Next we'll do C. Mm -hmm. Is there another two letters that could make that sound? K. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You don't have to write it just as long as you know. You know it. Awesome. All right, let's try this now. Try that again. We're not doing our blends or our digraphs anymore. One letter. W? Yeah. What sound would WH me? That's good. And last but not least, Good. all right, very nice. Now we're going to blend to help us with reading and spelling. It's a two for one deal. All right, you ready? Point along with me. Is that how you spell that word? No. Did I spell that one? Nope. Okay, it's just tricking us. Look 
that word every single day. I think it says your muscles. Just knows. Mm -hmm. Is that a real word? Sister, that. You said it right, gra um, gram. But the word is really gram, right? That's a confusing one. Very nice. I think you're really getting the hang of those blends. What do you think? All right. So next, can you remind me what a compound word is? What hand motion do we do for compound words? What did we do with our words? We did put them together. So what did we do? Awesome. So, what we're going to do, just as a little review, this is probably our last day with compound words. I think you got the hang of it. Blue or black? All right. I want you to devise your word and then how you craft it. So, let's do the first one. Cannot. All right. And where will we divide it? And do you remember these are dividing it into two words, but what else is it dividing into? Each of these is a syllable. So this is a two syllable word. If we class it, it'd be cannot. Wanna try it? Alright, clap it out. Did you hear that? So cannot. You can think of those as two syllables or two words. Alright. So what about this next one? Alright. So, all right, so where would we divide that? Awesome. All right, so what is the compound word again? Miss Sam already forgot. The word that is divided into two words. Two words, and it's two words, in, is there a space between the two words? Ooh, is there? Let's take a look. No. So go ahead and write. So it's two words smushed together to make one word, right? All right. So now, I'll take this. I'm going to keep this out because we're about to flip it right over. All right. So we also talked about our syllable division. This pattern. What pattern was that? V, C, C, V. All right. So do you, let's read the steps because it's been a while since we did this. What is our first step when we're dividing a V, C, C, V? Okay, and then what? Awesome. So we're going to practice coding a little bit. You think you can do it? Or you want me to do one first? I know you can do it. All right. Let's do, we'll do these, this side. Do you want this out for a little bit? Yeah. All right. Make sure you're telling me what you do as you do it. Awesome. 
What's our second step? Do I have to put a C under all the consonants? Which ones? Oh yeah, just the ones on the bridge, that's right. I forgot. All right, what next? Divide, and where do we divide? How'd you know to divide there? You're right. What pattern are we doing? So where would we divide? Yeah, so that's how you were divided between the C's. Awesome. And what is our last step? What do we code them with? Awesome. Do you remember why we code it with a bread? Short. It's a short vowel. Well, why is it short? What kind of syllable type was it? It's from a while back. It's in there somewhere. It might just be far back. A closed syllable. Remember closed syllables? Yeah, the closed syllables. They all had short vowels, right? That you coded with a brev. Is this two closed syllables? Perfect. So we can code it with a brev. All right. I wonder if, see, if you can do this one without the rules. I think you can do it. If you need the rules, we'll flip it back over. Just go and take a nap. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now what? Mm -hmm. Perfect. What's step five? Yeah. It rhymes, so I always remember it. And what, what do we do last? Okay, and what do we code it with? Why do we code it with a brow? Do you remember? And what kind of syllable type is it? Blue. Awesome. And what is the word? Awesome. All right. Go ahead and erase that. You are so on today. I love it. All right. Take this away from you. And when you were here on Tuesday, we did a little bit with contractions. Can you remind me what a contraction is? Sam forgot. <laughs> Can you give me an example of a contraction? Want to phone a friend? All right. Contractions. On Tuesday, we learned three different contractions, right? This one, have, are, and is. So now, could you tell me what a contraction is? Kind of. Well, we're adding this to a word, right? And how do we connect them? Do we smush them together like a compound word? Or is there something else we have to add in between? Yeah. And do we keep the whole word? Do we add R to it? You are? No, we have to drop some letters, right? And in all the ones we did on Tuesday, we kept the first word the same, right? And it was the second one that we had to drop some letters. All right, so let's do some practice. I want you, let's do it on our paper, actually, I think that's a good idea. I want you, we're going to go through this, and I'll open it, and we'll see if it's right. I want you to make a contraction out of it. We'll keep our rules out for a little bit. All right, we are, how would we do those words? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what, what is our first word? Go ahead and write that. 
And then what is our next step? Ooh, are we adding? Oh, silly goose. And then what did we have to do? Take it right. Let's check it. Go ahead and flip it open. Perfect. Give yourself a check. All right. Let's try this one. They have. Think you could do it without the rules? I think so too. If you need them, we'll flip it right back over, all right? Just taking a nap. All right, so what do we do first? What do we do with the first word? Awesome, so go ahead and write that down. What about that second word? Do we keep all of those letters? Awesome. And then are we done? What do we have to do? How would you say that word? Save. Awesome. How do you say that word? I forgot to ask you. All right. Let's do one more. Oh, let's check it. Go ahead and open it. See if you're right. Don't trust me, Sam. You're right? Awesome. All right. Let's do this last one. She is. What do we do with that first word? Awesome. Are you done? Mm -hmm. And what's the word? All right, go ahead and check it. Beautiful job. All right. Do you remember why we use contractions? Just help us read. They do help us read because they come in our reading. But we talk really fast, right? Remember we talk about how fast girls talk? Always they talk so fast. So contractions just let us speak faster. And a lot of the time we use them but we don't even know. We just combine our words together. All right. Very nice job. Let's pick this out for you because it is spelling time. I love how you're repeating back to me today, too, everything, your steps. That is awesome. All right. Our first word is grip. Grip. Ooh. Do you want to put them together today, the blends, or do you want to put them separate? You don't know? All right. I'll follow your lead. Hmm? Grip. Grip. Like a, how you grip a ball. All right, let's do, let's do this hand. Let's spit spell with that one. Grip. Grip. Awesome. All right, you ready for the next one? Locked. Um, make sure your fingers are touching the table, all right? Brim, like the brim of a hat. Beautiful. Which? Which? Um, which game do you want to play? It's a tricky one, but I know you got it. That is how you spell which, but we want a different way. Do you know another way to spell that word? Let's try this first sound. What is our first sound? Oh, I knew you knew that one. You've used it in a sentence. Awesome. All right, and skim. Skim milk. 
Good. Man, I bet you did something you didn't even know it. She used a peg here. And look at that. You want to talk about that? Look at that. I didn't even know it. All right. Ready for our sentences? I think we're going to do it the way we did it the last time. That's worked the best, I think. So I'm going to give you the squares and say the sentence, and I want you to lay them out, all right? So your sentence is, I saw, a, or let's do... We'll do saw. We'll try it. I saw a fish fin from the ship. Can you repeat it back? I saw a fish fin So how many would we need? Sentence. Awesome. And remember who's coming. All right, you ready for the cop? Yeah. Here he comes, ready or not. You need your red pen. All right. Perfect, you always remember that. Do you have every word? I think it looks awesome. And Miss Sam put in a word that she really shouldn't have, and you still spelled it right. So I'm very impressed. I'm very harsh there in our fur. Do you see, is there a blend? Where is it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Go ahead and circle that. Very nice. All right, one more. Are you ready? Coming back, I'm warning you. Can we stop at the shop? All right, ready or not, here he comes. I think you're ready for him, though. All right, what do we check first? Beautiful. So neat. How did you know it was a question mark? You're telling them? You're telling them to stop the shop? Maybe, I think you're asking them. If you ask your mom, can I do this? She can say no, right? You're not really telling her, you're more asking her. But did my voice sound a little bit different? If I said, can we stop at the shop, or can we stop at the shop? 
say it a little bit differently, right? Do you hear that? An awesome job. Give us all a big check on that one. And spelling. Can we stop at the shop? Perfect. Give yourself a big old smiley face. Guess what time it is? Hot words. And what do hot words not follow? Why are they hot? Yep, like I say, we're lucky the cop leaves right before they come because they'd be in big trouble. All right, we're going to read some first, just as fast as you can, all right? Perfect. All right. Ready to spell them? All right. Your first word. Ready for it? Crew. I know. This has been a tricky one. Think about how we cop and tap it. Prove. Like I can, I'm going to prove that I know how to spell this word. Ooh. Can we finger spell it or no? You wrote it like that, but that's not how you, you clapped it, you tapped it. You're right. Did it not feel right when you were writing it with the two O's? I'm so proud of you that you got that one. That has been a really tricky word for you. But when you write it, sometimes it doesn't feel right. Right? You know that you're supposed to go on to the next letter, you're not supposed to add that other row. That's why we have to write and use our fingers and our hands, because then we get that. We learn it with our feeling. It doesn't feel right. But, Awesome. I wish I had lifesavers for you because you would be getting one. Blood. Good. Make sure you're saying the letters as you write it, alright? Let's do friend. Cough. I have a cough. I must be sick. Awesome. And who's on the speaker? Almost. Perfect. All right, you ready for our new word? Our new word in here. You know what this word is? Against. So I want you to trace it three times and say the letters as you're tracing it, okay? Because it doesn't say A. An AI would be a long. Did you ever learn that? An AI makes a long sound? We haven't learned that yet, but we'll learn it. Alright, so how do we want to tap, clap and tap this one? Do you have any ideas? Alright. 
Well, first we have to clap it twice. So it's two syllables. Again. So, we really want to emphasize that. So we want to remember that that's the funky part. So what if we did against? A G A I N S T like that. All right, you ready? A G A I N S T. Right hand. Oh. Hmm. Tap it with your right hand. All right. Which hand do you write with? Perfect. All right. Ready? What? Hmm? Oh, I'm looking. Okay. I thought you were writing with that hand. I thought you were tapping with that hand. I am sorry. All right. Let's do it again. Against. A G A I N S T. Against. write it really big along this line. <laughs> Say the letters as you're writing it. Let's write it really small in this corner. Oh, I don't hear you. What's the word? Awesome. Let's see if you can write it in your neatest handwriting right over here. Saying goodbye for now, but not forever, all right? All right. We learned some contractions that we went over earlier. And our contractions, we talked about, they went into our alphabet drawer. So it deals with our alphabet, but we also thought that it could kind of help us with spelling, right? We talked about that. So we could really put it together, but technically it's alphabet. So we're going to learn some more contractions today. So this drawer is just getting so full, I can't even stand it. So real quick, can you just remind me what a contraction is again? Yeah, well, we add those things. We add those to our word. But what is that adding? It's adding another word, right? And do we keep that word the same? No. Do we, what, what do we do to it? We just drop letters, right? And is that it? Does it have anything else in it? Apostrophe, that was the word I was looking for. All right, so today we're going to learn three new ones and we're going to add to our board. So the first one is will. Can you just read to me what we do here? All right. Now I want you to follow these directions. Oh, where's my marker? Now we're going to do another word. All right. Can you do we will? How would we do that? We and will. What would we do first? Okay, so what's our first word? Mm 
Awesome. So now what do we do? And last but not least, and what's the word? Awesome. All right, now let's look at this next one. This is, if it, we're saying, a word would or had. All right, so what do we do? All right, and this time I'm going to be the teacher. I mean, I'm going to be the student and you be the teacher, all right? What two words, what word do you want me to be, have my first word as? Give me a word. Or how about I'll pick the word? What if I do she? I want to say she would. What do I do first? Both words? Which word? Oh, she, okay. All right, so I have she, now what do I do? Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm not done? Oh, where do I put that apostrophe? Oh. Um, now am I good? Am I right? All right. And last but not least, and this one, the only word that I can think that this goes after is I. Because I can't think, you know, it's she am or we am. I, I. All right, so let's go ahead and read the rules, though. All right, so I want to do I am. So what do I do first? Okay, so what do I write? Oh, an I. All right. All right. I'm done, TJ. No. Oh, my goodness. How did I forget again? And what is my word? Perfect. All right. So, last time we were together, we can keep this here for now. Remember this? Let's do it again. So, I have your words. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you two words, and I want you to cut only what you need, and we're going to glue it. So this is your word one, and this is your word two. We have tape. All right, so what do we do with that first word? Keep the first word the same. Keep the first word the same. And drop the what? Keep the D, perfect. And what do I do in between them? Awesome. So will you cut out just what we need? Is this one ready to be taped? What about this one? Can I take this one down? No. All right. Go ahead and cut the lead from that one. We'll go ahead and tape that one down. Doesn't have to be perfect, just for us. Are you done? Oh, what's our word? Awesome. All right, let's do he. Hmm, he will. All right. 
What are you going to do first? Okay, so are we cutting anything off of that word? Good. What about that next word? Awesome. Just go ahead and cut out what you need. Oh, sorry. You are too quick for me. All right, it's a little bit of a big piece, but that's all right. Oh, you don't even need this piece. Well, look at that. All right, all done. No. All right, I'm going to keep practicing because one day I'll remember about that apostrophe. All right, what do we have here? It's an eye. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I don't even think you need this. You are so good with this. Have you learned this before? No? I am so excited. I got to teach you something new. Look at that. All right. And what is your word? What is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's do, a, let's do two more. How about that? We'll do this. Okay. So what's the only letter that we're going to keep? That one's funky, huh? You get rid of so many letters. All right. And I love how you leave that space, too, in between for your apostrophe. It's not like a compound word, right? A compound word, we just put them both together. The whole word is just a little bit different. All right, ready for our last one? Let's do it. We didn't do this one yet. Which word? You got it. Which word are you going to keep the same? There we go. What about that second word? I like that word. Aw. All right. Very good. All right, you ready for some tape? All done? And what's the word? Wheel. Awesome. All right. We haven't done this yet. I'm going to do it just a little bit of a practice. Can we write the whole word underneath it? No. I'm saying you can, but I'm like, I'll, I'll show you an example. So, like, this is our contraction. I just want you to write it, just to have practice writing it. Just underneath all together like that. Would you do that with the ones we did today? So let's do this one. You can write it underneath again. Let's get some more practice. What's that word? Let's do this one. What's that word? This is our last one. All right. Now, how we did in our warm-up drill, we're going to do something similar. We have a new kind of drill. All right. I want you to decide what 
some of these would become, we'll do a couple of them because then we got to reattach it, right? All right. I want you to look at this and make it into a contraction, then you can check it, all right? So let's do, we'll do the first three. We have about that much time. So how would we make this contraction? What would you write? Yeah, go ahead and write it. Awesome. Want to check it? See if it's right. Ooh. Open it up. Awesome. All right. Let's do that next one. Check it. You didn't even check it. See if it was right. <laughs> You're right, though. All right. There you go. And let's just do that next one. What's wrong? Uh, All right, yeah, you're right. How would you write that, though? All right, check it. Awesome, you get a check 100%. All right, we'll do more practice with that tomorrow in our drills. Right. So, we are officially done with that temperature and humidity passage. I know it was very exciting. So, we're going to do a new one today. Just Abraham Lincoln. How far do you think we can get in this reading in one minute? Can you do this paragraph? Can you do this paragraph? Okay, this one? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be about the first two paragraphs. I don't think even, I don't even think I can agree more than that. All right, I'm going to time you, all right? Not right for you yet. Whenever you are ready. They were the Chinese people in Chile. Lincoln watched their children being sold to Chinese, particularly in the Philippines. Lincoln was heartbroken for these men who were still working for the boss and business. All the children were still out in the job. In many states, they were not able to do that.
Awesome. Have you ever heard about Abraham Lincoln before? Is that a familiar name? Yeah. He's a pretty popular guy, huh? All right. So, you read 115 words with no mistakes in one minute. That is awesome. And that was our first time with that. So, I am very impressed. So, for tomorrow, think you could do better? Yeah, I think so too. Especially since that was only your first time. That's awesome. So, do you want me to chart or do you want to chart? You want to chart? All right. We have to skip the Wednesday one because I was so sad you weren't here. And then this would be our Thursday line. Kind of hard to see. And go ahead up to 115. See where that is? It's a long way up. Ooh, I'll go all the way up there. A lot of words you read. You got to go big all the time. Thursday right here. This line. Here. Perfect, yep. Go ahead and put a dot. So where do you think you could reach tomorrow? 150. 150 tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we can we'll put that down. All right, 150. I love it. 150 right there. All right. Even if you don't reach 150, if you did above 115, even 115, I'd be so impressed. This is a hard passage. There was one word I wanted to look at. This word. This word is proclamation. Did you ever hear that word before? His emancipation proclamation was an address. And it was something that he wanted to change. He wanted to free the slaves. So a proclamation is like a fancy way to say that. Emancipation was free, freeing the slaves. Maybe I'll bring in the emancipation proclamation and talk about it. Be into that or no? All right. <laughs> so, now I was here and you were here, but Miss Jane wasn't here, so she doesn't know what's going on in Hatchet. So, could you help her out a little bit? Mm -hmm. Pilot died. When, when did he die? Where were they? So, so boy could do nothing else but fly the plane. How many people were in that plane? Just two people was in the plane. And the, and the plane was like like a little bit down. It's like going down the river. So the boy had to pull, pull the left back so the plane could go up. And, and and as the plane, is it still moving all around or do you stabilize it? Yeah. And that's pretty much it. So now. Why was he going? Oh, yeah. Why was he going? It was going to see the dog over the summer. All right. Thank you. So now we are in a weird place because it's a 13 year old boy who's never even been on a plane and now he's flying it. <laughs> And the pilot is not in good shape. All right. Um, I 
other next to it. So two two. The half of these there are down You ever see them? They are in those really tall buildings. They help pilots out when they have problems, and even when they don't have problems, they tell them what's coming and there's going to be turbulence for other planes in the sky are. So that would be really helpful. Good job. The radio, of course, he had to use the radio. Pilot had at the hit Ryan looked at the pilot. The headset was still on the disc and turned sideways a bit so he was jamming back into the seat in the microphone switch for his flip onto his foot. Ryan had to get the headset on the pilot. Had to reach over and get the headset from the pilot or he would not be able to do the
So did someone respond? Thank goodness. I don't know. What, if I was crying at this point, I think I would have passed out from fear. What do you think? Yeah. They stop and Brian hit his light switch. I hear you. I hear This is me. Release the switch. Watch it. I have been. Alright, I'm going to stop here for today, but Roger, I think that's his name. Why did they say that there, though? Have you ever heard that before? Yeah. When do you hear that? Yeah, they say it for like, copy that or. Okay, Rob, you're a lot of time over walkie talkies so hear people say that. Or radios, things like that. Alright, so what do you think's gonna happen tomorrow? You don't know? Do you think the guy's gonna help him out on the other side of the radio? I think so too. I hope so because I don't know what I would do if I were poor Brian. All right, is it awesome today? I'm so happy you were here. I'm gonna stop our recording. Look at us—we're like celebrities. Everyone wants to keep watch us. Do I even?